subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. The Prime Minister just addressed the nation, short and sweet, a short message and uncharacteristically apolitical. So there was no politics to it. In fact, it was a very simple message. And the simple message was that, look, we are doing better in our fight against coronavirus. Figures have improved lately. They are looking very good or much better than before. But this is no time to be complacent. Don't declare victory. Don't make that mistake. Because particularly festival seasons coming up. And while he didn't mention it, also Bihar elections are coming up and many by-elections are coming up in really crowded states. Now, what is there to declutter in an address like that? Actually, within the address, if you see what he said, there is no clutter. It was very straight. It was basically saying best wishes for festivals uh, of every faith that are coming up because this is the festival season for everybody, for Hindus, Muslims, Christians, uh, Sikhs, everybody. And festivals in India mean, mean congregations. So don't congregate. Take precautions. Use your masks, sanitation. What's the clutter? But there is a lot of detail behind this, which I thought this gives me the excuse to talk about. Now, if you look at the data today, and as I speak, some gra graphics will run. And these graphics have also run today in an article we've carried. This is a daily sort of coronavirus pandemic watch that uh, one of our reporters, mostly Abantika Ghosh and Shipra Kapoor, who's a graphics person, they do it. So these graphics will run. If you see these graphics after a long time, uh, and this has been happening for about three weeks, but we've been cautious. We are also, I mean, sometimes it's good to be superstitious, not to, de not to declare good news too so soon or better news too soon, because these things can change and your smiles then have to become frowns. So we waited for three weeks. But if you look at the data now, for three weeks, you see that all the graphs which should be going down are going down. All the graphs which should be going up are going up. In the past, it was the opposite. So what do we mean today? If you see active cases, active cases is total number of cases, number of people recovered and number of people, unfortunately, dead. Then what is left, those are people who are still carrying the disease in, and they are under various stages of treatment. Now that number has fallen well before 8 lakhs now. Now that number has gone be below 8 lakhs almost after a month. In fact, more than a month. We told you that the peak for much of this was mid-September. Mid-September is when India's active cases crossed a million. Today, it's less than 8 lakhs and if they are declining at almost at this point 2% a day. Now, that looks steep. Maybe they will not decline at 2% a day. Before this, they were declining at 1%, 1.1%, 1.5%, 1 1.6% and now more than 2 So, hopefully, this will be maintained. But even if it's not 2%, this number is declining now consistently, which is good news. So, that graph is coming down, earlier it was going up. So what should be coming down is coming down. Similarly, if you look at deaths, you've seen 587. Uh, the, it was 579 yesterday, but we did not take such notice of it because sometimes on Sundays there is a lag in reporting. So now the next day also it's 587. So once again, you can see that over the past several weeks, fatalities are coming down. So again, a graph that should be coming down is coming down. Similarly, you see the number of tests. Now, it, it was there was a lot of controversy about India is not testing enough. But the Prime Minister today said, today said that our tests will soon reach 10 crores and he is right. In fact, if you see this graphic, again, it's a good graphic. So what should be going up has gone up, which means our tests went up. And for now, quite some time, they've stayed above a million. In fact, for more than six weeks, our tests have averaged more than a million a day, which is very good. And it is because of that, that another graphic which should come down, curve has come down, which is test positivity rate. And you can see sometime in July, it had reached the peak of 15.5% nationally. Now it's down to 4.5%. For the past several days, it was stuck between 6 and 7 and 8. And now it's down to 4.5% on a day of heavy testing. That is on 
Monday. So that is also good news. Then you can see that after 90, after 27th of July, it is the lowest number of positive cases in a day. For the first time since then, cases are below 50,000 in a day, which is also good news. In fact, if you look at today's active cases number in India, that is about seven and a half lakhs. It is less as our favorite chartist Shamika Ravi uh, points out. Today, India's active cases are lower than France and Spain as on today. And in fact, if this momentum is maintained, and we hope it is maintained, then in a week or 10 days, India's active cases will be even lower than Britain. So this is big improvement. The important thing is to maintain this. In fact, even if you look at our case fatality rate, at this point, it is about 1.51. At this level, it can't decline much faster, but it is still declining, not going up. So all this is very big change. Now, there is another story that Abantika has done, which I am sharing with you. Uh, and I will also take, borrow some highlights from there. Now, this is a study done by Department of Science and Technology of Government of India. And this study includes top professors in many sciences, including computational sciences, statistics, etc., from India's topmost institutions, including the IITs. Uh, now, this report tells us that if India actually follows all the norms. Suppose India follows all the norms that is essentially social distancing, hand washing and masks, then by February this pandemic would be pretty much be beaten even if there is no vaccine, which means they say this is statistical that if there is 100% compliance with these norms, then by February you could have no more than 20,000 active cases in a population of 1 crore 30, uh, 138 crores. 20,000 cases means this disease has become endemic to certain areas. This is not a pandemic anymore. You can live with it and life can come back to normal. But they say, the same study says that if now people become complacent and you see people becoming complacent and you see videos coming up all over, you see the temples, you saw this Kumaran Saris, Silk Saris uh, showroom in Chennai, which got flooded as if there was a Saris be, were being distributed for free. Then you see Bihar election campaigns, you see tens of thousands of people just streaming in. Then you can see that people are becoming complacent. Also, the moment you get out of the city, you find people think it's not there in villages, right? So people then become careless and also there is fatigue with masks, with social distancing. How long can I remain locked up in my room? Now, the same study says that if people throw caution to the winds now, particularly with festivals coming up, then India will hit a new peak in mid-November. That is a month from now. And that peak could see more than three times as many active cases as now. That is 25 lakh active cases. The peak we have seen so far was 10 lakhs. At 25 lakhs, India's medical system, also it's, although it's been enhanced, there are lots of spare beds, even that will collapse. And medical personnel, doctors, nurses, they will collapse. So under no circumstances should that happen. Now, there is a professor, uh, Manindra Agarwal, uh, who has spoken with Abantika for that story, who has said that, look, Department of Science and Technology also estimates that if these numbers go up to 25 lakhs, and mortality will also go up because medical system will collapse. So three times as many people will die as have died by now. So the total number of dead could become half a million. So at least to some extent, the fantasy of some pop epidemiologists who hit headline, headlines earlier, very early on saying crores of Indians will die, that fantasy would at least partly come true. And it is for people of India now to prove that wrong. This study also has some other important points. For example, this study says that for every case that is discovered in India, that is diagnosed in India, 60 to 65 are being missed because those are asymptomatic. They are not going for tests. Now, that's a very significant finding and they've done it using mathematical uh, models. They haven't done it using serological models. Now, what that means is that if India is now heading for X number of cases, diagnosed cases, that India's actual cases were 
65 times as many. Then they also say that in August, the ICMR zero survey showed that India was missing 6, 26 to 31 cases for each case diagnosed. But that was August. Now, this is mid-October. So, this sounds logical that more people are being infected and more and more asymptomatic people are being infected, which means to some extent, some kind of immunity is building up in our population. Again, in Delhi, it, it is estimated that for every case that is diagnosed, 40 cases are missed. So, Delhi has had 3.31 lakh cases diagnosed by now. Multiply by that by 40 times. Now, all this is very uh, basic. You get a crore and 20 la lakh cases, which means almost 60% of the people of Delhi. So, you would say, this, this looks like getting close to herd immunity, but don't be complacent. Because this means, even if 1 crore, 20 lakhs have been exposed, it means another 80 lakhs are still vulnerable. So, this is that time when India must not declare victory at this point. And that is why I think that that was the uh, essence of the Prime Minister's message. And I think he folded his hands several times. And it was a good gesture because he's telling people, don't get complacent. Don't go into euphoria. This is like nothing is done until it's done. He quoted uh, Bhakt Kabir and Bhakt Kabir had this, uh, he writes a lot of wisdom in his simple dohas. So one of which was that, look, don't be like a farmer who sees his standing ripening crops and starts celebrating. It means nothing unless you've harvested this crop and brought it home. Because, now I'm explaining it, because you might have a hailstorm before that, there might be a fire before that, you might have wild animals come and destroy it before that. So, unless the job is done, it is not done. As we say in sports also, that unless you played the last over, unless you scored the last run, Unless in a ball in a, in a in a goal game, unless you maintained your lead till the last whistle goes off, do not declare victory because things can go wrong. So once again, figures are looking very good right now. You may or may not like the government, but everybody dislikes the virus. Nobody wants the virus to win. At this point, people of India have pushed it back. But remember, this virus strikes back the moment you start enjoying victory and taking a deep breath. It's happened in Europe. It's happened in America. Don't let it do it to India now because our doctors, our medical system, everything is now tired and exhausted. So buy yourself time. Another six months and life would have changed very radically for the better.